Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. So I was just running through the list of Sudokus that I've been creating and the videos that we created. And I noticed that we had never covered a Renban Sudoku. I know we had visited one Renban when we were covering the Notify series by Henning. But then the, obviously that was a Renban with a twist and we had never take actually seen a proper Renban Sudoku in play. So I thought why not create a video on how to approach a Renban Sudoku. Because Renban is one of the very common variants that you will see in competitions. So hopefully this will be a good uh, learning for you as well. And insights that I will be sharing will hopefully help you solve a Renban Sudoku with ease. Now basically the rules of the Sudoku are the rules of classic Sudoku apply. Additionally, we see certain uh, gray regions that uh, regions in gray that have been marked on the grid. What it means is these re each region will contain a set of consecutive digits, but they're not necessarily in order. It can be in any order. For example, I uh, could have uh, this could be three, four, seven, six, five. Okay, this sorry works out in order, or maybe I can just interchange this. Yet I will always have three, four, five, six, seven, which are consecutive to each other. So each region, marked region, will have these set of consecutive digits. So normally we will always start like a classic Sudoku, but how do we use the constraint of this uh, additional region to help us eliminate possibilities? Now the simplest and the foremost thing that we need to remember is, for example, whenever you have a region which has a length of five cells, right, which is covering five cells. Now, the least possible series that I can have is a series beginning with one, one, two, three, four, five. Or, and the max series that I can have is nine, eight, seven, six, five, right? Now, if you notice, the digit five is common to both the minimum as well as the maximum series. So irrespective of which set of consecutive digits come in the gray area, the digit five will always be present in the region. And also, since like we'll go ahead with the example of five cell regions. So while solving, we come across a cell, say where you can place a three in one of the gray regions. So now with three already getting placed, we have to identify which series will fit, which contains the digit three. For example, the minimum series is one to five, which will contain a digit three, right? But what if the series is beginning from three itself? So then I can have three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, here I'm focusing on these five cell regions. So the maximum region uh, set I can have is three to seven, and the minimum set I can have is one to five. Now in both these scenarios, the digits three, four, and five are part of the series. So irrespective of what the entire set is, I know for sure the digits three, four, and five will fall on the region, the gray marked region. And these are the things that we need to keep an eye out. Because once we have identified with three, maximum I can go up to seven, then blindly I can say the digits eight and nine will never be part of the gray area. And that helps us eliminate. So why don't we go ahead and check this out. And yes, I have added a link to this Sudoku in the description of the video. So you can go online and solve it if you want. And this Sudoku I had created about a year back for my website. So hopefully, let's hope that you guys enjoy this. And without wasting much time, let's proceed. So like always, start like a classic. I have a one and a one. So this would be a one, one, one. This is a one, one, one has to be in these two. We got a one here, so this is a one. So which means the one will be in one of these two, right? But we don't know which one. Again, I see eight, eight, eight has to be in these two. This will be an eight because you already got an eight here. 
now. Oh yes, we have a two and a two. So the two is part of this gray region. Correct? Now, if it is a two, the least set I can have is one, two, three, four, five, or assuming one is not part of the series, so starting with two, I can have two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. So two, three, four, and five will definitely be on the gray region. But it's not very obvious where each can come. But what we need to focus now is the gray part where I said, irrespective of which series comes, the digit five will have to be on the gray cell, right? This, you know, for the top right shaded region, pi cannot be here. Pi can be here, here, or here. Same, it cannot be here, it cannot be here, it will be here, here, or here. Sorry. And for this, it can be here, it can be here. So this will be a five, and this one. See, again, this cannot be a five. This cannot be a five. So these are the fives. Now when I look closely, how does this help us? If let's assume the five was for the top left region was logged in these two, correct? Then it would not be here and this would become a five. But if it was not part of these two, then five would be here, correct? So irrespective of where the five is getting placed, one of the fives for the these two regions will be in the gray cells here and similarly for this one if it is here in these two cells it cannot be here and this would be a five but if it is not here this would be a five so similarly the bottom two regions also the five will be for row six that is in column two or eight what it means is these fives will form an x wing and we can eliminate the fives from these cells. That has helped us eliminate, but hmm, no additional breakthrough, right? What next? This is a two. So the maximum this series can be is two, three, four, five, and six. So seven cannot be here. This is a seven, it cannot be here. So our seven is locked here, which means the seven is locked here. The ones are locked here by classic rules. Okay. Oh yes. Now let's look at the top right region. One cannot be in these five, right? So one is never part of the series. Similarly, two also cannot be part of the gray cells. So if one and two are out, the minimum series that I can have is three, four, five, six, and seven. Correct? So seven will definitely be part of the series. So when I look into that, seven cannot be here, seven cannot be here, it cannot be here. So my seven is locked here. And by classic rules, seven, seven is here. This would be a seven. Correct, sorry. Seven, seven, this is not a seven, so this is a seven. Now five and seven, so obviously the central number six has to be part of the series. Six is not here, six is not here. So my six has to be there in these two, all right? Hmm which places the six here, okay. Yes. Now let's look at a column one. The five cannot be in row three column one, right? And this also will not be a five because the five will be in one of these two cells, which leaves us with just one place where the five can be in column one, sorry. If this is a five, this becomes a five. This is out. This is my five. So this becomes a five. This becomes a five. This is a five. And final five would be here. Sorry. That's a pencil mark upset. 
So now we were able to place all the fives in this. You see how the X wing played an important role because we had the five in the central for boxes four and six, and they were common for uh, columns two and eight. Now that we have the fives placed, five, six, seven, what else can we have here? Okay, seven. Okay, this is a seven, this is a seven. Seven can't be here. This is a seven, so this becomes my seven. The one is still here. Hmm. Now this two cannot be here. It cannot be in this gray cell because a region will have continuous consecutive numbers. The digit cannot repeat on the region, right? So the two has to be locked in column four for box eight. But with seven, six, and five part of the series, the additional two numbers I can have are four and three going to the lower side, which means I cannot have a two as part of this region. Hence, this will be my two. This is a three, four, three, four, six, three, four, six. And with two part of the series, obviously nine cannot be part of the gray cell, so this would be a nine. This will be two, three, four, two, three, four. Hmm. This can be a four, six, because I can have a series of two, three, four, five, and six, right? Without the one. Hmm. Okay. What next? Three, four, eight, eight, eight cannot be part of this, so eight has to be in here or here. Okay, now this nine has to be in these two, correct? But what would happen if the nine were part of the gray cell? Then I would require six, seven, and eight, correct? But both seven and eight cannot be part of this gray Renban region. And most importantly, seven cannot be here, it can't be these two or this one. Since seven is not part of the series, I can eliminate the higher ones, that is eight and nine also. So seven, eight, and nine will never be part of the series. Hence, this can be my nine here. And if 789 have been moved out, and again the digit 1 is not part of the series, so with 1, 7, 8, and 9 not part of the series, the only 5 digits I have left are 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this is a, this is again a 3, 4, 6, 3, 4, 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 2, 3, 4. This will be 3, 4, again a 2, 3, 4. All right? Again, 2 cannot be part of this gray cell as we had seen. So if this is not a 2, this is not a 2. This would be a 2. And this becomes my 2 by classic rules. 2 for column 5 cannot be here. It can't be these 2. So this is my 2. Okay. This would be 4, 8, 4, 7, and 4, 7, 8. Hmm. This is again two three four, so this also will be two three four. This would be three four six, three four five six. Hmm. Oh, sorry, this cannot be a five, so this will be a three four six. Now one, can I have a one? Obviously one cannot be part of this region. The reason is with one, I can only have maximum five, but since seven and six are there, so this has to be a one, which makes this a one, right? And now this we have got this one, this six. With this one, now I know for sure with one on the Renban region, it can only be one, two, three, four, and five. So this cannot be a six, four, and a 3 with a 4 to complete this. Uh, so this becomes again a 3 and that's my pair of 2 and 4. 
this becomes a 4 so that's a 7 that's an 8 6 cannot be here that's a 9 and that's a 6 so we complete the row because we had a 6 here and then 9 and with the 6 gone here 3 already here 3 4 6 we have completed this box and we get the 8 now this was 3 8 3 8 okay if this is a 3 8 this can uh, this will be a 4 6 and a 3 now we can have both 3 as well as 8 here because the series can be 3 4 5 6 7 or it can also be 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we leave this for now and now with this 7 this becomes a 7 and let's take this out and the column remaining are 6 and 9 so we have 5 6 7 9 so obviously to maintain the continuity we require the 8 right 6 and 8 so this is my 6 and 8 with a 3 here last 4 4 and a 3 I require a 6 and a 9 6 9 6 9 okay let's eliminate the 4 so 3 6 9 this will again be a 3 6 because we have a 9 so 3 6 3 6 makes this a 9 and that's a 6 with a 9 here so that's a 6 and a 9 and we have filled up 6 so this is 2 3 and 4 all right ta -ta -ta -ta, 3 6 6 8 okay uh, yes this is a 4 with a 6 but now what next okay we have a triplet of 2 3 and 4 in these three cells right and as we know a digit will not repeat on the region so obviously this cannot be a 3 that is my 6 that becomes a 3 so that's a 8 and a 6 that becomes a 3 and a 8 so with the 3 here this is a 4 this becomes a 2, this is a 4, so that's a 2 and this is a final 3. And that is basically how we approach a Renban Sudoku. Because if you remember, for the top right region, we used that uh, knowledge of 1 and 2 not being part of this to make sure that the 7 will be a part of it. And that helped us eliminate the 7 from the other cells. And similarly, here we knew 9, 8 and 7 along with 1 would not be part of the region. So we were able to identify the remaining 5 digits. And this tip or technique of eliminating possibilities based on the possible numbers in a Renban region comes very handy when you're solving a Renban school. So do go ahead, try out the puzzle using the link in the description. Let me know in the comments if you were stuck somewhere or you found it to be helpful. And if you did enjoy the video and the puzzle for that matter, do like it, share it with your friends. And I hope you guys are subscribed to the channel. If not, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you back in a couple of days. So till the next time, happy solving.